So for anyone going from the previous episode to this one, you're probably wondering, why, Zen, are you already in space? You were just taking off and making adjustments to your, your launch vehicle when, uh, when suddenly you go to this and I'm already in orbit. I'm actually in a pretty good orbit. Now, there's a story here, and it's, it's a long one. Also, debris from I just actually got rid of the uh, secondary stage, so... What ended up happening is this whole thing has been about three hours in the making, uh, including that the, the 23 minute episode probably from the last one. I think it's about 23 minutes. Now, what happened here? Well, I spent about two more hours after that one and also fiddling around with a ton of mods. So it was it ended up being roughly three hours uh, trying to get things to work. It just wouldn't launch. I would launch and everything would explode and fall apart. And it was just a mess. And I disabled Ferrum for a while. I installed his other one, which uh, reduces the mock effects. So when you hit like Mach 1 and 2, it reduces the effects that are happening to your, your ship. Uh, I also just did a ton of editing with mods to try to figure out what was going on. It just wasn't working. And that ship that I had made had worked earlier in the day when I tested it on my other saved game. So I knew that it should work. But after, you know, after messing with a ton of stuff, finally I managed to get into space. And that wasn't with a lot, without a lot of pain. So I barely did it uh, before getting, you know, into a pretty good orbit, actually. Like I said, this is, you know, 191 and 292. So pretty good. It's not a circularized orbit and it's not actually, you know level with the, the moon's orbit but you know what it's better than what i had been doing before so here's the thing i'm absolutely a hundred percent going to in the future just cut cut footage like that in fact i actually uh actually just deleted all of that like it was a, it was a good two hours of footage i literally just deleted off my hard drive before starting this one and the reason why is because me being frustrated with not things working, you know, me constantly failing and not actually getting to the main meat of the, the game, which is our story that we want. Oh, look at our lights. They're beautiful. Uh, it, it doesn't really, it doesn't really uh, give you a, anything at all that is, is any type of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not quality, you know, it's not a quality video for you guys. It's not giving you guys any type of entertaining uh, footage. It's just frustrating, especially for me. So I axed all that in the future. I'm going to do the same thing if things aren't working or if I'm just constantly crashing. I'll leave the funny stuff in there, but I'm going to take everything else out because there's no point for it to be in there because we have a story to get to. We need to we need to get to other planets and colonize them. We need to get awesome giant sci-fi spaceships and do that kind of stuff so you know what i'm just gonna cut all that crap from here on out and uh exp i just noticed that i have a oh the rest of them probably broke in flight ah but i got one left one uh, one strut there Anyways, the rest of this is, from now on, is not going to include that kind of stuff. So, that was my executive decision. Now let's do our moon mission. P.S. Because it's been three hours in the making, this is probably going to be a much shorter episode than usual. Just expect that. We probably won't get back from the moon. Now, how do we want to go about doing this? Well, obviously, we're just going to take our apoapsis. Uh, because it, well, it's our apoapsis. And run it into the moon's orbit. Ooh, that was a pretty good one. Where, where were we? We want to be on the other side of the moon. We want to come in on, you know, on the outside as if we're making a large pass. Kind of like that, actually. That would work perfectly. Uh, much like what we did with our previous mission, if you recall, um, to the moon. So that should be pretty good. We just need to find our marker, which is right here. P.S. In between recording the last episode and this one, I re or I installed another update of B9 because they, they keep updating like Mad Men and, um, and also a new update to Ferrum. So there may be some changes that I just don't notice. You guys may, but just letting you know. All right, let's speed up time, which will not take long at all. Get to our maneuver node in 20 seconds. We'll start burning at 10 because it's close enough. There we go. And this should get us to the moon fairly easily. I do want to make mention 
uh, we are at the stage here where we have wh where we wanted to be basically which was having uh, this get us to the moon get us roughly in orbit of the moon and then the rest of this is going to land us the rest of this should uh, land us and get us back also in the massive amount of changes that I made while I was trying to get the entire thing to work I took off a lot of stuff so I took off the extra fuel tanks that were on the top the entire rocket ended up looking significantly different it, I took off a lot of weight on it so we can actually get into orbit with it it was just massive changes um, but overall aside from the the fuel tanks on the top of these uh, it's pretty much the same of what it was before so nothing too crazy as far as our lander is concerned and that's really the the thing that we want to kind of be the same right we want our lander to be a good design and we had a good design before so we're not going to change it much but i'm just going to uh, i'm just going to make sure that i get to the moon uh you know and the funny thing is this periapsis is a little high so i'll probably bring that in a bit as we get closer to the end of our maneuver node we're about to lose the stage we're on. It's running out of fuel rapidly. But I kind of expected that. We're gonna get a lot more Delta V out of the three engines here though, so it'll finish this off quite rapidly. Oh, there we go. Yeah, way quicker, way more Delta V. Love it. And... Uh, close enough. I like it. We'll deal with it. That'll be good. All right, uh, let's fast forward to get to the moon. Now, as I was getting closer, I noticed I'm coming on the inside here. I don't want that. I want to be on the other side. It makes it easier for me. So what I'm going to do here is just prograde a bit. Not a lot, just a bit. So that says 17 meters a second, which means uh, I probably don't even need the maneuver node. I'm just going to point prograde and just burn slightly until we make it to the other side. Okay, much better. See how our periapsis is going down? We want that. We're gonna keep going until it starts going back up, which is getting pretty soon here. 200, 100, okay. Actually, you know what? That should be perfect. 100,000, that's pretty good. We still have a lot of fuel left on this. Should be able to land and take off, no problem. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna explore it. If I land next to another biome, we'll go to the other biome. But for the most part, I think we're just gonna make one trip here uh, because we need to unlock the nuclear engines. Because if we can unlock those, then we can do a huge trip. So we can go to the moon uh go to like four or five different wow i'm totally setting this note up incorrectly we can go to like four or five different uh biomes is what they call them there we go i got there eventually why is that oh i need to slow down not speed up could go to four or five different biomes get all of that science and then work our way back that's it's it's a pretty easy way of doing it and this is only 193 which is not bad i was expecting a little bit worse so we'll just go to where we need to be for our maneuver node. And yeah, this should work. This should work fine. Let's let's get there and make our maneuver. Whoa, but don't overshoot it. <laughs> I hate that, mo that whew, you know, you're like your heart and your chest kind of thing. You, I mean, your stomach and your chest. You, of course your heart and your, your heart is in your chest. That was the dumbest. Oop, let's burn. <laughs> that was directly on zero. I'll take it. And don't need a perfect, just need a close. That should be great. Okay. We're not going to worry too much about how uh, the inclination is a little different here because we're just going to land eventually. You know, I'm going to land roughly in the middle of one of these. Um, and then when we take off, we'll just go directly uh, across the horizon now the thing we need to know about the moon so there's multiple biomes on the moon and there's plenty of maps out there which maps you use doesn't really matter right that's the first thing the second thing is that you can use you can usually see most of them so this is one of the major craters 
uh, as, and it's its own biome. And then out here you have generally, like most of just the general white stuff. There's two, there's like plains. Actually, there's three, there's plains. There's just like a normal surface and then there's like high plains or something like that or plateaus. Uh, and then you have the these like little craters typically have their own biomes. You have this trench, uh, which I think they call as canyons. Like this one is a canyon biome. You obviously have the poles and then you have th the different bigger um, craters are their own biomes as well. So there's plenty of stuff to go around as far as biomes. I think there's another one right there. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of biomes to go around on the moon and each one grants you more and more science. Now we can actually get science right now. Uh, should we keep our lights on? We should turn them off just in case. We don't really need them on at the moment anyways. Also, I wanted to point out, because this is our first manned mission to the moon, our first long distance manned mission, you're noticing carbon dioxide, we have waste, we have waste water. That is punch cards? Really? That's because of the tech life support. So we haven't really seen much of the waste and stuff because we really haven't had as long of, of a mission as this will be. But it shouldn't fill up anywhere close to the end as we get to, uh, there. We're going to do one of those. We want to do a crew report from in here because it's the first time we've been able to do that. Transmit it. And then we will do an EVA report. Uh, and then we'll go into low moon orbit. And we'll kind of do the same thing, which will get us even more science. I think low moon orbit, we'll, we'll probably end up getting it at about 20,000. Uh, meters from the surface, but you can get it, I think, a little bit higher than that. I think. I don't know. I don't remember what the number for that is. EVA report. And you need to go down, sir. Nope. Down, not up. Okay. And whoop, keep pushing the wrong button. I'm going to be terrible with docking later, especially in those massive ships. Okay, we will review this and we will... Uh, dang it, that's not what I wanted to do. We will review it and we will set it. And that right there almost got us like 40 science or something like that, which is pretty good. That, I mean, that's just our first part of this. We plan on getting a lot more as we go. But our next step is to, of course, pick a landing spot, figure out where I want to land. Hopefully it's in a place with multiple biomes, pick up all the science and then head home. And I think Jebediah is going to be hailed as a hero and he will no longer be jealous of, of Luke Kerman, who found the secret base that was uh, on that island not a few episodes ago.